Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, RBJ's Fun World. Another tutorial on app development. Well, today we're creating a riddle app. Very fun. Riddles, riddles, riddles. In the last video, I showed you how to use screens and create screens. Well, in this video, I'll show you how to create a simple app using screens, putting components on screens, and coding the screen and the components. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay guys, I'm going to first show you how this works, the simple app. I just created this to show you how components work on screens. So are you ready? Let me share my screen. Go to Google Chrome. There we go. We have it right over here. So this is a riddle app. So I had a few buttons here, okay? Which when I click on them, it will show a riddle. So I'll show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and click the preview button. And I'm going to click riddle one. What gets bigger, one more is taken away. That's a riddle. Riddle two, it shows riddle two, riddle three, and riddle four. You saw how my project works, right? Now I'm going to let you create it. So, let me go to a new project, okay? Go ahead and name it Riddle App. And then click Create. Great. Here we have our home page of Dunkable. So, let me move my camera up here. Let me show you the components we need. We'll need four buttons and one label okay one button okay here we have our first button and to make things go quicker we could click this button over here that says duplicate i'm going to go ahead and click that and it will uh, say duplicate Oop. but there we go we duplicated again create how many buttons you want as how many riddles you'll get so I'm going to click another duplicate. Okay, that's good enough for me. Next, you're going to have to add a label. Loading, perfect. Change the text to be blank, okay? Now, I put, I changed it to be blank. So when it's, so when you start the project, they won't see label, they'll just see a blank. So when you click the button, it's going to change the text to what the riddle is and after 10 seconds what the answer is. Okay, now we have our components. Woohoo! Okay guys, we have a few more things to do in this design area. Let's name the buttons. First let's name the labels actually. The label is a very important one. So we're going to have to name this question and answer label okay next we're going to now we have the question and answer label let's stand the buttons button one is going to be called riddle one button two is going to be called riddle two button three is going to be called Riddle three. I think you get it, right? Riddle three. Oops, did you delete that? And button four, we all know. Riddle four. Okay, next we have to change the text here. Here, right here, let's change riddle um, button one or riddle one button to riddle one. The text, what's going to show here, okay? Riddle one, so now it shows here. This one to riddle. Um, this one to this one to riddle three, and the last one to riddle four. Good. 
now we are done on this page. We might have to come back for some other edits, but let's head to the block section right over here. Now, let's think what should be the logic. So first we'll have to go to the block section over here, but now let's think. Okay, now I think we got it, right? So let's think. What we have to do is, so when we click the riddle button, it's going to change the text of the label to the question or riddle. And after 10 seconds, we're going to change the label to the answer, okay? Now, let's do that code out real quick. Let's go to this riddle one button we see here, and let's grab when riddle one click. Okay, everybody got it? Boom. If I'm going a bit too fast for you guys, Feel free to pause the video, okay? Riddle one. And next, we're going to grab this one. Set riddle one's text to button, like, or the text. So we're, not this one, we're going to have to get set question and answer labels, text to, think of a riddle, guys. I think you all know some great riddles, okay? Let's see. What gets bigger when you take when you take stuff away from it? Okay? Now, next, we want them to have some time um, to think about the answer and say it. Okay? So let's go grab the wait one second block. But let's change this to how much ever time you think is right. I think 10 seconds would be good. There's two ways to change the checks of the label now. So one, we can drag this same code back from the blocks, which is right here. Or we can just right click on this, on the block and duplicate it, which will give an exact same copy as this one. Okay, we have this, and let's change this to the answer, which will be a hole. You get the riddle? What gets bigger when you take stuff away from it? So it gets bigger when you start digging. You're taking the dirt away from it. So it's a hole, right? Okay, we'll next, so tell me, most of you guys put like three, four, five riddles, right? So how many ever buttons or riddles you put duplicated that many times? I put four of them. So right click, duplicate, right click, duplicate, right click, duplicate. Or you can just take back all this code again and again, which I do not recommend. And, that, and then now it looks all jumbly jumbly, this code. So. Go ahead and right click on the white area and click clean up blocks. All clean, see? It arranged my code blocks super neatly, right? Okay, now tell me what needs to be changed. Okay, we just duplicated the code, it has the exact same information. Wait, we need a different riddle. We need to change the buttons. Whoa, okay. You have to change this thing, click the drop down, and put riddle two and put another riddle here. What goes up and down, but does not move? How? Well, it's going to be written right here. A staircase. Now you get it? Yep. Okay, okay. Let's think of another riddle, guys. What has wings but cannot fly? Okay? A fan. You see? The wings, those propeller things, those like oval things, we call them wings. Um, and they don't fly, they just spin around, right? Right. Okay. One more riddle. What, oops, what goes 
up but never comes down okay the answer is can you guess it the answer is your age right okay guys before we go back let me change this to five seconds just for the sake of testing okay okay good don't forget to change the buttons riddle three and riddle four okay guys now let's test it riddle one what gets bigger when you take stuff away from it what was it again a hole yeah a hole riddle two what goes up and down but does not move a staircase what has wings but cannot fly? A fan. And what goes up but never comes down? Your age. See, it says there, right there. Your age, okay? Let me also show you how to add a cool background to this. But I'm going to do is change it by color. You can create a background. Sorry. So go click screen one here on the app tree. I'm right now on the screen one component. All the properties are here. The first one is background color. Let's do that one, okay? Um, I like orange. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now let's preview it just to make sure that, yep, it's good. Okay, orange. Or you can add a background picture. You can change the background picture like here okay well that's it for today's riddle app this simple app shows you how i added components on the screen and how i made this app work by using code to code the components okay see you later always keep coding have fun bye bj's fun world